Hello friends. Happy Friday. The Oliva Series V Liga Special Double Robusto. Let's see if that gets me demonetized. I stopped caring. Uh, honestly, I, I stopped caring. It's not a big deal. In fact, it's it's a bit of a misnomer. There is no demonetization. I haven't seen it. It's uh, different levels of monetization. So yeah, a video on tobacco makes less money than a video not on tobacco, but neither one is making very much money. So you know. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about anything. I just want to enjoy the cigar. Have a nice relaxing ride home and share it with my friends. But to do that, we gotta get this lit. There's been all this discussion lately about, you know, my, my wife won't let me smoke indoors or, you know, and I don't understand it because my wife, you know, she never had a problem with me smoking indoors and such is life. Um, but she does not like it when I burn holes in my shirts. I just almost did that, so I dodged a bullet. Anyway, it's a beautiful Friday afternoon. You can see the, uh, or you will in a moment, see the, the, the nice clear blue sky. Cold. It's uh, about 35 degrees right now, so not yet used to that cold, but let's uh, get on the road and head for home. Cold but sunny. So today's Friday. Uh, yesterday was Thursday, because that's how that works. Um, and I had a medical appointment yesterday. I took off for that in the morning, and then I decided, well, I'm just going to take the, the rest of the day. And I did do some work in the afternoon from home. It just didn't seem worthwhile rushing back into work. So I went to the Little Lehigh River, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you, you saw a post about that, and I'll talk more about that tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Sunday, um, the, the re main reason I went and all, but that's where I did the video you saw yesterday, where I was talking about romanticism and pipe smoking. Um, that was done after I... I attempted to record a, a video that, that honestly was a really nice video in my humble opinion um, I walked along the little Lehigh I uh, went up a, a covered bridge and looked at some of the the joinery on the bridge uh, the bridge was built in 1860 I believe and just just beautiful how well this joinery has, has held up over time and, you know, I went, went a bit further, sat on a stump for a while, talked a bit. I, I was using the, the camera that I'm using for the outside view right now. And I didn't have the sound on. I probably have 45 minutes of video that I would have condensed down to, you know, 20 or so. That I can't use because there's no sound. So I was kind of annoyed by that, and I didn't even bother to look at most of it. I'm going to look at it over the weekend and see if there's any way I can salvage it with, you know, a voiceover or something. Because it was a pretty spot, um, and I, th I think you guys would enjoy seeing the bridge, if nothing else. So I, I might I might stitch something together and, and show you that this Sunday. So tonight, I'm, I'm leaving work a little bit early. Um, don't tell. I went in early. 
I was in by 8 this morning, so it's okay to leave a little early. Plus, I worked last weekend, right? Uh, and the wife and I are hopefully going to go out to dinner tonight uh, to one of our favorite places. And then we are going to make a few shopping stops. Oddly enough, all for me. Uh, we're going to pick up some some things I need for the shop. I'll just leave it at that. I, I not, not that I'm hiding anything. I just don't want to go droning on about what I'm going to buy. It's just stuff that I need for the shop, like containers and things like that. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's my plan for tonight. The reason my wife has to go along, well, she doesn't have to go along, but I want to use her car. She has an SUV, and just more space in the back to put things. Plus, my back is full of fishing stuff that just lives back there. I always tell people when they ask me if, if they can get a ride, I say, you know, I'm happy to give you a ride, but the odds are you're going to be covered in cigar ash and you're going to have a few fish hooks in you by the time you get out of the car. And that, that's not untrue. Although I've never had anybody actually get a fish hook. I did have one person come close. I saw the hook before they sat on it. I better answer that. I don't know what just happened there, but uh, the missus was calling to find out where I am. She's uh, apparently looking forward to our evening out tonight. Not that she's going to enjoy the shopping very much. She hates it when I go to places like Woodcraft. It's, but it, I think it's revenge for all the times I've stood in a mall holding her purse while she does whatever she does. I, I, I don't know, because I don't go in the store. So I was just checking before I left work. I took a quick look at the um, comments on that, that video I posted yesterday on romanticism and pipe smoking. And boy, there's a lot of comments, and I'm reading them, and they're all good comments, and then they're all very thoughtful, and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm not going to reply to these. <laughs> you wind up making work for yourself. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. I, I, I love it. I try really hard to respond to all, all my comments, and you know, especially when someone takes the time to really think through something and, and write, you know, a couple, not just a couple lines, but a couple paragraphs. You, that then requires that you take some time to think about it. And and in some cases, it's, it's good to do that. You know, it makes you rethink your position. I think one of the things I like most about YouTube is the fact that we can have dialogue. And I've said before, I miss the days of VRs when people would just make VRs to make them. You know, it wasn't about, uh, it was it was part of the conversation. You know, you, you, that's what this is all about. This isn't a one-sided, I'm gonna throw up my opinion and walk away. This is this conversation. And uh, I love having it, whether it's in, in videos or in comments, but it does take time. But it's always good to hear differing opinions. I mean, never, never be afraid to have your beliefs challenged because it's the only way your beliefs will be strong. You know, no matter how strong your faith is, if you're afraid of it being questioned, then it can be stronger. And, you know, the questioning will do one of two things. It will either strengthen your position or it will show you that you're wrong and then you'll be in a stronger position because you'll be in one where you know you're right. You'll adjust your worldview and you'll be sitting in a different place but at least you'll know it's the right place. So never be afraid to have your beliefs challenged. we got a train crossing right now. I doubt you can see that because of the truck in front of you. 
probably heard it. I, uh, I give thumbs up to the Oliva Series V Liga Special Double Robusto. Good stuff. I've had these before. I've never bought the Double Robusto. Um, I was just in a Double Robusto kind of mood. Somebody's having a rather exciting conversation. And we're off again. Yeah, this is a big commuter train stop here. The This is the center of Lansdale, which is not the city I live in, but it's uh, our town I live in. It's a neighboring town. And what we're going through here, this is Main Street Lansdale. This is actually considered the city around here. This is this is the big <laughs> this is this is where you if you said I'm going to town, this is where you would go. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys live in similar places. Uh, you know, I, I grew up in in Philadelphia. So the center city of Philadelphia was what I considered downtown. And then I moved to Pittsburgh and you know that's got a fairly big uh, downtown area and then of course I lived in Atlanta for a number of years and Atlanta's just a you know there's no way to know where the city ends and the suburbs begin it just kind of spills out but I love living in this area I like keeping the city where the city is I like the traffic. I like the friendliness of the people. The convenience, you know, you're never very far from a supermarket, a gas station, but yet you're not living in the middle of, of all the hubbub and hustle. Yeah. Anyway, folks, I uh, once again have managed to ramble away a good chunk of your time. I didn't have any real plans for this chat, and uh, I think that showed. So I thank you guys for for putting up with that, and I'm sure glad that some of you enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. So I'm going to sign off now. I'll see you on Sunday. Have a great weekend. And take care of yourself.